செய்துள்ளது விசாரணையை தொடரவும் Good evening, all. Good evening. Okay, so um, yeah, let's start today's session, and uh, maybe we can you know like uh, wait for a few more seconds, you no, know, like one or two minutes more. Let others also join. Okay, no problem. Okay, so let's start. So we are in our fourth week of you no know, like uh, this module, Startup Equity. And uh, this is going to be the final module under this topic. So as of now, uh, I think you no know, like uh, we have um, uh, discussed about uh, who are the you know, like uh, venture capitalists and we have you no know, like seen angel investors and uh, how do these people you know like help the uh, budding entrepreneurs to you know like uh, start up their uh, uh, you know the dream projects and you know like dream company and uh, how do they do it so and from the entrepreneur side that is you know from the budding entrepreneur side what they have to do you know to impress these investors angel investors or you no know, like these venture capitalists and uh, how do they have to know, like, go up with the best business plan to know, like, uh, uh, and know, explain the things, explain their business uh, activities and how the business is going to see success, uh, success in another, know, like, a few years. And what is going to know, like, what, what they are going to know, like, reap out of it. And what would be the profit? What would be the benefits? How it's going to know, like, uh, create a great impact in the market and how it's going to know, like, uh, give the best product or service to their customers. So with the with the know like the uh, the best business plan, they have to know like uh, meet these angel investors or these venture capitalists, and they have to know like uh, uh, you know like convince them you no know, like to invest in their startup firms. And then we have seen you no know, like what seed uh, uh, seed funding. So we have you no know, like the 
funding stage, the base, base stage, that is no like when, when the business is being you no know, like um, budding before even you no know, starting the business. So the initial fund you no know, like is given by these angel investors. And the second funding stage, you no, know, it happens when uh, the entrepreneur is you no know, like trying to you know like uh, uh, come up with new uh, ideas and you no know, like to you no know, cover up few markets, more markets and cover up you no know, like few customers. So for you no know, like marketing plans and to outreach to the, all those customers you no know, in the market. So during that stage, you no know, more fund is needed. So that by that time, these angel investors and you know, or the venture capitalists. Uh, not the angel investors. So angel investors, they invest no like maximum in one time only. That is at the beginning of the business. Venture capitalists, they do the seed funding. So the second stage of funding is done by that time. And uh, then the entrepreneur is no like trying to establish the business, no like to a higher level. That is not to expand their business. When they are planning to expand their business, go internationally, then obviously they'll be needing more funding. So in that case, the venture capitalists or no like uh, obliged or supposed to know like a fund for the business for the third time. So at different point of time, at different stages, these funding will happen from the venture capitalist. So we have seen you no know, like what is seed funding. Yeah. And the high net worth individuals. So these people definitely not to be you no know, like do not definitely have to be business people. So these can be you no know, like a uh, persons or no any individuals or no like any company or no agency which has inherited no like a lot of wealth so they have no like good money uh, uh excellent money in their hand so they are looking for some no like um uh profit reaping opportunities so they can invest in no like these uh, uh startup businesses and uh entrepreneurs who are no like trying to outreach to those investors they can try it out no with the high net worth individuals as well you have normal net worth individuals, you have high net worth and no ultra high, very high net worth, ultra high net worth, and you have Dennis Billionaires. And we have seen the difference between these, no, like uh, people. Okay, so uh, coming here, the next one is accelerators or accelerator, accelerating program, however you call it. Okay, so what is this accelerator or accelerating program? So it is a program that provides mentorship, investment, and resources to help early stage startups rapidly to grow their businesses. Same, no, like as it is, no, like uh, how angel investors do. However, no, like venture capitalists are doing. Same, no, like um, it's a program actually. You no, know, these investors see the accelerator as a program. So they give a training kind of thing. Like they don't know, like initially after accepting the idea of the entrepreneur, they don't fund immediately, making the entrepreneur to you know, start off the business. No, they don't do it. They give some time to know, like they uh, take up some time to train those entrepreneurs. So no, like they actually train them, mentor them, uh, no, like give them sufficient knowledge and resources. And only after that, no, these entrepreneurs are supposed to kickstart their business. So that is not like a period. That is a probation kind of a period where the entrepreneur has to work for these accelerators, you know, like um, these uh, investors who are you not know, like uh, giving accelerator programs. So it's kind of a probation or training period, whatever you say. So only after successful completion of this, then you no, know, like uh, uh, these people are you not know, like supposed to go for, uh, I mean, uh, they're supposed to you know like start off their business. So these programs offer access to expertise, networking opportunities, and sometimes seed funding to jumpstart the development of innovative products and services. So how do these people do? Investors who have no like these accelerated programs. So how do they you know train those uh, entrepreneurs? Say for example, you no know, like um, uh, a budding entrepreneur, like uh, say you no know, for example a person, person called uh, say uh, Richard. So Richard is planning to you know like start a business on his own. So uh, he is you now like searching for the investor. So somehow you no know, like he has reached an investor who is you now like running an accelerated program. So uh, the this uh, 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 Richard has you now like shown off his business plan, explained things, and you now like uh, uh, exhibited the product or the service, whatever, and you now like uh, have a you know, like very good idea and knowledge about you know, how this is going to work out. 
now when the accelerator no the investor who was who are who is running the accelerator program so if the investor is no like interested and would like to know work with this entrepreneur no called uh, richard so what uh, this person will do is so this person will take richard as a trainee or no like as an incubator or a no like as a uh, say management trainee kind of a thing so the uh, the uh, the accelerator will not train richard no like in many areas it is no like for how to know like uh, get resources and how to know like go with business plans how to know like um, go with more departments and um, how to get no like uh, contacts of no like high net worth individuals and no other business personalities in the industry so everything everything no like about the business no so that would be no like uh, the training material so once the training no one this entrepreneur no like a uh, uh, richard once this entrepreneur has successfully completed the training and if the investor is no like happy and confident about richard then the funding starts so that's how known an accelerator program works so benefits of joining an accelerator see uh, we have many options no like if i want to start a business either i can approach an uh, uh, angel investor so get an one time no like a good payment to kick start my business share the equity with that uh, investor angel investor and no give a clear uh, exit policy option so whenever the investor wants to quit yes the person can quit and the next option i have is uh, you know like uh, the venture capitalist so i can no like uh, request for seed funding um no that uh, investor can no like uh, fund for my business in no like two three different stages so whenever i need money to expand my business to grow my business to no like to, to reach more customers or to capture more market so i can no like expect fund from that venture capital so that is another thing and the third thing is yes i can no like uh, get help from the accelerators as well so accelerators no like obviously as uh, no like we have discussed earlier so i have to undergo a training i have to undergo a uh, you know like a probation period with the accelerator so experts from no like the business industry will be no like training me not just the accelerator but many experts from the business no uh, from no different businesses no will be coming and training me so my i may get a trainer from no like uh, say google and no i may get a trainer from no who is working in no like tesla i may get a trainer from ibm from infosys whatever no like what it depends on the product no which i am going to launch or which i am going planning to no give to the um, no customers so this is how the accelerator program works so let's see no like uh, have a little brief about no what are all the benefits of no joining an accelerator so first and foremost is we can get mentorship so these accelerators provide access to experienced mentors who offer guidance strategic advice and and uh, industry connections to help startups grow so funding many accelerators offer seed funding so so uh, see that no accelerator also provide seed funding that is no like they fund for the business in different stages so they offer seed funding or investment opportunities to help startups get off the ground and scale their business and then is networking accelerator programs facilitate connections with other startups investors and industry leaders expanding a startups professional network and finally it's the validation being selected for an accelerator program validates a startups idea and team which can lead to increased credibility and visibility so these are all the benefits this is just the limited benefits which i have listed here but no like there are more benefits so you can know outreach to many uh, no like industrial expertise and industrial specialists no like uh, in the business and uh, you can get more resources you just have, don't have to know depend on one such accelerator you don't have to do that so it depends on the uh, no the the communication the negotiation between you and the accelerator if the accelerator accepts or if the accelerator is okay you can no go for more funders that is no you can go for more investors if that particular accelerator don't mind about it clear so this is how it works so there are few common accelerator programs the first and foremost is y combinator this is the most successful no like accelerator program 
like this is run by you no know, the uh, the top most business professionals who have worked in IBM, Google, uh, Tesla, many many industries. You no, know, not just IT companies, not just automobile companies, but from you no know, like um, a varied, a different you no know, like uh, experts from you no know, like different uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, industries. You no, know, like you have you have them in this Y coordinator program. So it is actually you no know, like based in uh, US, but you no know, like they are open to you know like uh, any any person who is you no know, like ready to showcase their talent, you no, know, and they, if they can prove themselves as a you no know, like an excellent entrepreneur, yes, they will welcome. So mostly you no know, the uh, the classes, I mean the sessions will happen you no know, like offline and online sometimes, and uh, experts from you no know, all these see these experts you no know, like who have worked in Google who has maybe working in or still now working or they have you no know, like worked and retired they can be anything they run this y cord uh, y combinator program completely free of cost they don't get any money out of it all they want is you no know, like to you know like uh, to encourage budding business persons that is their only motive and uh, they don't get anything out of it. so they just want to you know share their knowledge uh, provide their mentorship give their you no know, like expertise in their subject area to the budding entrepreneurs and uh, another one is techstars this is a global network of accelerators with programs in various cities providing mentorship and investment for early stage companies and the third one is 500 startups this is a silicon valley based accelerator that in uh, invest in a diverse range of startups from fintech to e-commerce so I have listed only the top three, but still there are more in the industry. So Y Combinator is you know, the most successful uh, business program, you know, like the accelerated program. You know? uh, ask any uh, entrepreneur, in, you know, like especially in uh, uh, Western countries, especially in European countries, they know about Y Combinator programs. Uh, you know, like there are many experts you know, like who are running this Y Combinator program. So this is how you no know, this uh, accelerator programs works out. So they have this is not limited here. No, like uh, uh, this doesn't end in no like uh, six weeks or seven weeks. It may take sometimes month or it may take no like at least one to one and a half years. So it's few programs no it may take. It depends upon the uh, you know the idea whatever you no know, like the business person is you no know, like uh, uh, having an idea about which is the product or what is the you no know, like service about. So it depends upon the idea of the uh, entrepreneur. So based on that, the programs may you know like uh, extend for you no know, like one year or up to one and a half years from a minimum of you no know, like six months. So usually what happens, you no, know, how do they train these entrepreneurs, budding entrepreneurs in accelerated programs? In week one, they assemble the team, get to know each other and you know like uh, share their ideas and everything. And week two, they aggregate and intake and you know, like they just show off the glimpse of you know, like what the market is all about. And third week is you know, like doing an analysis. That is now they have come up with an idea, just having you know, like a scanning of that uh, idea. There's no analysis of that idea that whether or not to how how far or how extent, to which extent it will work out or not. And then is alignment and prioritization. It is not like uh, what is the purpose? What are the main purpose? No, what is the motivation of that? Uh, no, like uh, a business idea. So what they are planning to do? These businesses, no budding businesses. What they are planning to give? What they are planning to do? So alignment and prioritization and uh, synthesis. Is, they can share everything. It is not like uh, each of them can share. Whoever is in the accelerator program, they can share their ideas and their learnings. No, with each and every one. And then his recommendations and next steps. And uh, from seventh week onwards, so accelerate, adjust, or pause. So if there is further uh, training needed, then you know that particular entrepreneur, the particular, you know, like uh, uh, the trainee will be, you know, like having more training. It is not like for another, you no, know, like say three to four months, or otherwise, if the uh, Y Combinator expertise is you not know, like happy and satisfied with a particular entrepreneur's, you no, know, like uh, uh, you know, like uh, the uh, uh, 
uh, whatever no like uh, the entrepreneur has come up with has learned if, if it is okay for them then they will know like go for the accelerator program they start investing so this is how no the accelerator program functions so startup selection process how do they select uh, for example i am applying for no like say this y combinator i want to start a business and no like uh, i have no like a clear business idea i had no like have planned everything uh, everything is no like uh, pre planned and no like i have all the business plans clearly no like detecting no like how much i need how much i am going to use for this particular activity and this particular activity what is the product or service all about and what is the uniqueness of it so what is my target market and uh, to which type of customers no the product is going to work on everything no i have planned everything now how do i apply so first no like i have to apply go to their website they do have no like websites if you just go to google and click on no like accelerator programs it lists you various programs there are many programs available so check for the program no which is no like uh, uh, um proximate to you that is no like uh, sometimes no in your own city there may be some accelerator program Uh, for example, in you no know, like uh, Kochi, there may be some accelerator program. There may be companies you no know, like who is giving accelerator programs, or even this Y Combinator or you no know, like the famous accelerator programs. So they may be having an office. They may be having some training camps. You no know, like in you no know, like major cities. So check for it if they do have some. The, obviously, they'll be having a website on their own. So apply. So first is application screening. So from their side, what they will do is. so go for a screening in the application accelerators review a large number of applicants from startups they carefully evaluate each one based on criteria like innovation so they first see for is the innovation and the team that is not like how much uh, what team no like you are bringing whether you are going to work everything on your own or no like you have planned for no like uh, or it's going to be a partnership or uh, it is just you no know, like you would be the you no know, like uh, the main person and you no know, under you uh, you know like you have three more persons you no know, like who you have decided to work for you so the team and the market potential of your you no know, business idea and the scalability so how far or how you no know, like much you can expand it you no know, like expand the business idea so based on these criteria they will you no know, screen the applications and then is interview they have they will be conducting interviews so top applicants are invited for interviews where the accelerator team can assess the startup fit founders ambition and no like the growth potential in more depth so during interview session they will come to know more about no like me so i have applied so everything i cannot know like uh, put it up in my business plan so something no like so emotional no which which is connected with me and my business plan no something is no like emotionally connected so those things can be you no know, like expressed only by you no know, like uh, you know um, when 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 you no know, like when we have no direct communication face to face communication with the interviewers you no know, like so for that reason they conduct interviews so there will be if i am selected on the any any of the criteria maybe my product or service is something innovative and uh, i have a quite you no know, like good team and uh, my product you no know, like shows a good the market potential and it can be scalable as well so i have been selected that is my application has been selected then i am called for the interview so they will come to know more about my you know like uh, what what invoked me what invoked me to know like to go with this business plan with this business idea so what i am now planning to know like do after you know, like 5 years or 10 years so how i am going to expand this business so you no know, like during the face to face interview or one on one interview so they will come to know about it and then the final selection after thorough evaluation the accelerator selects a cohort of startups the best aligns with their program goals and have the greatest potential to benefit from the resources and the mentorship so select the people or the budding entrepreneur no whom they see as the best whom they see as no like capable of no like doing something innovative so their product speaks about everything or they know the uh, the innovation the idea speaks no like everything so that will click so if they feel uh, confidence in your idea in my idea or no like in my product so obviously i'll be no like uh, selected
so curriculum and mentorship what would be the curriculum so already i know i have, have no a little understanding about the business so i know how to know like go with uh, how to reach to the customers i already have no like a, a business plan of everything but so what will they teach in my you knowledge during my training period in the accelerator program so let's see so this program offers an intensive curriculum focused on refining business models honing pitching skills and accessing essential resources this pitching skills is no like a uh, very much required for any business person because in most cases you as that or me as an individual we will be starting it will not be you no know, like a, a big mnc right so we will start from the scratch right like maybe our initial investment may be you no know, like maximum within you no know, like a uh, uh, not more than 5 to 10 lakhs right so that would be our maximum investment in the initial period so when we are you no know, like going with that most of the activities will be you no know, like taken back care by uh, ourselves only so we cannot know like to have people for everything no like for all the activities we cannot know like recruit people because no you have to pay them salary you have to know like maintain a payroll i know it's very difficult right so most of the business activities has to be done by uh, ourselves right in the initial stage maybe after some after some time no when the business starts expanding you can no have different departments you can no recruit and select no like people for different departments but till that time you have to do everything on your own maybe you can have one more partner or maybe you can have two or three more uh, you know like people working for you so honing pitching skills how to know go with pitching skills and uh, accessing essential resources and startups receive guidance from industry experts these industry experts will be you no know, like uh, frequently giving their ideas and they will be you no know, like training uh, these entrepreneurs with you no know, like uh, uh, many business uh, you know like uh, uh, what do you say many business ideas so they keep on you no know, sharing their experience what they have experienced in their uh, business and how they have tackled it how they have no found a solution to it what made them to do it so whether they have no like uh, uh, no perceived these task or perceived these issues no like personally or no like completely in a business motive how did they do it so based on their experience when they share their experience no we get lot of knowledge about it. we know no like how people are working so not everyone will be you know like having the same business plan or same you no know, like idea of you no know, skill set of you no know, like tackling a you no know, a problem or you no know, like resolving an issue everyone will be having a different you no know, like a uh, uh, their working pattern you no know, that is completely different every individual will have a different working pattern so when these people you no know, like uh, share and they are successful as well they have they are already successful on this and they are not going to get anything out of it right so because of you no know, like training these uh, budding entrepreneurs they are not going to anything monetary benefits is not there but you no know, the name there is no like uh, they have been trained by you no know, this expert you no know, that name it all matters for them so they give the you no know, like the best guidance and uh, seasoned entrepreneurs who provide valuable mentorship feedback to accelerate growth the curriculum typically covers for topics such as uh, product development marketing sales fundraising and team building so hands on workshops networking events and one on one coaching sessions help startups make significant progress in a short time frame so these are all the topics you no know, they will be covering with coming to funding and investment so the connect that I mean the training period is over now no like the funding stage so how will they do it they start with seed funding that is not this fund in at the initial stage they will not know provide you the entire fund what they have planned for to kick start the business whatever is necessary whichever how much ever it is necessary so they will know like uh, provide that funding accelerators often provide seed funding usually in the range between $20000 to 150 uh, $150000 in exchange for equity in the start then vc connections venture capitalist connections accelerators have strong relationship with venture capitalists and angel investors 
helping startups gain access to additional funding rounds. See, that's what I said. No, in the beginning, when you up, uh, no, like when you uh, get to the, I mean, uh, when you are not like focusing only for no angel investors to fund you for your business, most of the angel investors, no, like uh, uh, they, uh, they cannot be sure about no you getting funds from different investors. They will, they may not be okay with that because no, like you are sharing the equity with them, so. They may be you no know, like uh, taking the maximum profit out of it. So they don't want many persons you not know, to share the equity along with them. So venture capitalists are uh, almost the same. You cannot you know like uh, uh, say venture capitalists you no know, like just just completely opposite of angel investors. But when it comes to you no know, like additional funding, uh, you no know, like uh, uh, funding uh, rounds. So even venture capitalists may or may not you know like. Uh, Uh, support the entrepreneur to know to gain access to additional funding people, but uh, usually these uh, you no know, like uh, Y combinators and you no know, like these type of accelerators they always support the entrepreneurs for go for to go for you no know, more funding with different investors because again you no know, here these uh, you no know, like accelerators they are not going to ask any equity from you they will not be asking any equity from you. You may not be giving no like any no anything out no like from the profit your what your whatever you are gaining so nothing so they don't mind about you going for no like some other funding they don't mind at all. Then pitch practice startups receive intensive pitch coaching to refine their investor presentations and have opportunities to pitch to investors. Then funding terms accelerators provide guidance on funding terms, cap tables, and other legal and financial considerations for startups. So coming to networking and connections, so how it is beneficial? Joining an accelerator program provides invaluable networking opportunities. Uh, maybe these accelerators, you no know, themselves may you know like suggest uh, uh, you know like uh, they may you know like. Um, uh fix up an appointment uh, with you no know, like other industry with other angel investors and venture capitalists you no know, for you they may fix up the appointment for you they can do it because you no know, they are already expert in the business right they are already expert in the market they have they have ex- you no know, like excellent connections they know almost you no know, like all the top performers and all the business experts you know in the industry they do have the connection with them so they will be you no know, like assisting you with you no know, like uh, to to make you, you know introduce to you no know, like those networking associates so you will get a lot of network and connections you will gain access to a vast network of founders investors industry experts and potential partners these connections can lead to strategic partnerships funding and future growth then is the accelerator's mentorship program also helps you build meaningful relationships with experienced entrepreneurs and advisors who can guide you through critical decisions and open doors to their own networks so um, these are the you no know, like benefits of you no know, like having accelerator you no know, getting access to accelerator programs so even if you are so sure about you no know, like uh, what do you want to do uh, you have 100% confidence all you need is you no know, like funding not not anything else and all you need is you no know, like some some kind of support and mentorship you are ready to start up a business but it's always you no know, like good for any entrepreneur to undergo an accelerator program so at least for you no know, like 6 months to 1 year it's like a you no know, like a management training but this management training is not provided by you no know, like any university or no any institution but it is provided by the top most experts in the industry so you can you know like if you want to go for it you can check for any accelerator program you no know, like within your limits you no know, like reaching limits just you know, in your city uh maybe you know like sometimes you know few few uh things you no know, like one or two uh, programs are available online as well but online you no know, like uh, i don't recommend it it is better to go for you no know, like a regular management training program if you are not planning to start up your own venture the accelerator's mentorship program also helps you build okay this we have seen now coming to how it works let us you know like what are the process steps you no know, like uh, in the accelerator program 
the first one is demo day showcase startups to investors and then is networking connect with industry leaders and finally it's graduation celebrate milestones achieved so this may demo day and know then uh, refining your uh, business plan refining your product uh, innovating your product enhancing your uh, know like business plan everything know like it, it, it may cover up to know like 3 to 4 months and the networking connecting with industry leaders showcasing them your business plan and what you're planning to do you know everything that will know like cover up graduation there will be lot of project and there are lot of you know like workshops you may be you know like undergoing some kind of training with you no know, like um, uh, maybe a topmost professional in any of the you no know, like uh, uh, you know like uh, a company a successful company that is what sometime again no uh, be very you no know, like clear here you are again here a management train you you will be acting as a management train you will not be actually an uh, you know, the employee of the company, say, for example, I have joined the accelerator program, say I have joined this Y Combinator program, and now like I'm into the training process. So now I have completed, you no know, almost, uh, you know, like uh, seven to eight months of my, you no know, like program. And the remaining three to four months, I have to, uh, you know, like uh, go for some kind of a workshop. I have to, you know, like uh, have some hands-on experience, you no know, uh, working along with Trainers in these accelerators, what they do with, do is they will you know like uh, communicate with you no know, like topmost companies. Say you no know, like say for example you no know, like Tesla. So they will you know like speak with the you no know, department head in the Tesla, and uh, I will be you no know, like working along with the you no know, like the production team or with the HR team, whatever it is you no know, like or with the you no know, like uh, the designing team. And uh, I'll be gaining experience. I won't be getting any kind of you no know, like. Uh, a monetary benefit out of it and completely a management training there and no like i'll be learning things and and i'll be no like uh, getting mentorship from that expertise and everything i'll be getting so i'm not the part of the company i'm just not taking training there i'm just taking a training there that's it so after you no know, successfully after i have completed three to four months i'll be finally graduated graduated in the sense and now i'm ready to start my business now i have already known fixed up the funding thing with my accelerator now i have got you no know, like a good nice contacts with different uh, angel investors and the venture capitalists i have shown my business plan two three of them are ready to you know invest in my business yes i'm now ready to kick start my business this is how it works after completing the intensive accelerator program startups graduate with a powerful demonstration of their progress and pro potential the highly anticipated demo day event allows founders to pitch their businesses to a room full of eager investors, venture capitalists, and industry industry influencers. So you have to know, like, pitch your business, no, in front of all the investors. There will be no, like, quite few investors, no, uh, waiting for you to explain to them, explain your business idea to them. You have to pitch the pitch your business to them. This is a crucial opportunity to secure additional funding that can propel the startup's growth. The graduation ceremony itself is a celebratory milestone honoring the startup's hard work and achievements throughout the program. So on that very graduation day, there is no like when you are no showcasing your business plan and no like put forwarding your business idea. The very same day you may get the uh, you no know, like a good investor you no know, for your business immediately you no know, like anyone from that you no know, like uh, investor group they may you know maybe be you know raising their hand and they will be ready to invest for you if they like your program if they like your business idea so post accelerator support after after you no know, uh, successfully completing the accelerator program so what kind of support you no know, I'll get from these training programs ongoing coach alumni community community follow on funding events and workshops so many accelerators even after the program ends founders can tap into the accelerator network of experts for guidance on scaling their business navigate challenges and achieving their long-term goals and yes of course you will be part of the alumni community uh, so 
you you know you will be you no know, like getting trained with you no know, along with various professionals just like you and you have these you no know, like get access to you no know, angel investors and venture capitalists in the market and you get uh, you no know, get to know about you will get to know about various industry experts in the market so you can you no know, like join their community joining an accelerator connects founders to powerful alumni network these established relationships can lead to valuable partnerships co-founder opportunities and access to shared resources and best practices if any one of them is interested they would would like to be a co-founder your support you know uh, uh, in the business follow on funding so successful completion of an accelerator program can make startups more attractive to investors if you say you you have undergone an accelerator program investors will be so confident about you uh, no this is actually true uh, if you have sure, proven your skills no like or no like proven that no you have undergone an accelerator program uh, you will be you no know, like attracting more investors no into your business and accelerators often have relationships with venture capitalists and angel investors who may provide follow on funding to promising graduates events and workshops accelerators frequently host events workshops and networking opportunities for their alumni these help founders stay connected learn new skills and identify potential collaboration Uh, these are the you know like the benefits of accelerator programs to be a part of an accelerator program now finding the right accelerator for your startup for your funding your startup there are research accelerator programs and you no know, like um, see um first thing is you have to be very you no know, like clear about if you are planning to start a business you have to be very clear about you no know, like uh, which type of investor you are looking for either you are going to you know like uh, directly kick start your uh, you know like uh, your business or you want to undergo an accelerator program and if you have decided to go for an accelerator program and then starting your business so you have to select the right kind of accelerator program which is suitable for you few programs obviously you have to pay for it you no know, like sometimes you no know, like there is a charge or sometimes you no know, there is no charge and uh, if they believe in you if the accelerators you no know, do believe in you so there is no charge at all they will take care of everything there is no like your whatever you no know, you are getting you no know, like uh, uh maybe for traveling and for staying and everything you no know, like they will be completely taking care of you so they will provide all kind of support for you, you no know, to get trained in this program so select the right kind of accelerator so first one is research do a proper research and then evaluate the program benefits and then apply strategically and finally secure the funding first go for a complete research select no check what are all the accelerator programs available and uh, which one is feasible for you evaluate the program benefits check no like how many successful startups have no like started their business no after completing that particular accelerator program So when I'm saying why combinators, why combinators have given out no like many successful entrepreneurs, many startups have no like come out of these why combinators. So no like such is the value of the no the program. So evaluate the results, then apply strategically. So there are no like few strategies you have to follow while applying for the program, and finally undergo the training and secure the funding. now incubation process after getting to apply you no know, like this accelerator program then is the incubation incubation and accelerator program both can be seen as the same maybe two different versions of the same factor or maybe next to accelerator program then comes the incubation program so it is a you no know, like uh, the uh, the process which you have to undergo after your application has been screened and you have been selected and no like uh, then mentoring happens after that so you will get first introduced into the program and no like you will get to know about the benefits out of it that is your incubation period right so before no like going into the going no like uh, deep into the program deep into the no like the subject so you'll be no having an incubation period you will get to know everything about the program everything about the trainers who are going to train you and know like how you can know become a successful entrepreneur 
that is the incubation stage. So what is the difference between no incubator and accelerator? So incubator helps entrepreneurs flesh out business idea, whereas accelerator expedites the growth of existing businesses. Incubator focus on business planning, prototyping, customer discovery, product development, whereas accelerator, they focus on business traction and investment. Incubator, no specific timeline ends when a business has an idea or product to pitch to investors. And accelerator, timeline is set for a fixed period. That is no like particular weeks or particular months. So how much is the, what is the program, uh, no like duration, during which entrepreneurs get needed assistance. And this is a cohort based program. What is a cohort? Cohort means no in another way, another word you can say a partnership kind of a program. So you along with the venture capitalist or you along with the angel investor, with the help of the accelerator program, you will be you no know, like running the business. So incubator is a structured collaborative program designed to help startups succeed. Whereas accelerator, it's a short-term program usually for startups that have already have an MD. Now, primary identifiers or guidance to form a product or service, seed funding and angel investors, venture capitalists, presentation skills and business etiquette, training programs, networking opportunities. So during the training period, incubation period, you will be undergoing all these programs. Whereas an accelerator on the whole accelerator program, you will focus on the rapid growth of the business, set time frame from week to months, mentorship and guidance you will receive, Business profitability, you can know like work it out and industry connections, you will get. So these are the differences between accelerator, incubator and venture builder. So the characteristics, no, when you see that type, accelerator program is no, within an institution. That is, you have to stay, that is, no, you have to undergo a regular class in the accelerator program. For example, if Y Combinator, no, they have, they are no like a, uh, training the management training that is not training the entrepreneurs in a particular location in a particular infrastructure in a particular building these people have to go there and take up the training okay and but you no know, like an incubator it is computerly institutionalized venture builder is also institutionalized coming to objective accelerator no like a growth of the startup and positive return on investment Incubator program, it focuses on promoting the economic development of the startup and venture builder setup and sale of the startup as well as positive return on investment. When it comes to service, accelerator uh, program, no, like uh, where is where acceleration through infrastructure and resources is off time. Incubator program, access to infrastructure and resource support is off time. And in venture builder, code development through infrastructure and resources is time. So what is the time frame? So it's not a fixed time frame. It may change according to your business plan. And if you want to get uh, you no know, like more training, if you if you're not so confident, even after you no know, like completion of an accelerator program, you're not so confident, but you feel that no, you need more training, you need more uh, you no know, like expertise advice, you need more mentorship. And everything you can know like extend your program so usually the time frame for accelerator program is three to six months for incubator it's uh 0.5 to three years and for venture builders it's no like long term two to five years because remember venture builders know like they usually fund for your business at different stages and even after completion of no each funding stage they will know like stick on to either stick on to the business they train you, mentor you, everything will be done. Not till they know, like, uh, uh, till they fund for the third or no fourth stage. And finally, it's a crowdfunding. So, you know, what is a crowdfunding? Uh, so, if you are planning to start up something and know, like, uh, uh, you don't want to know, like, uh, access, get access to accelerators, venture capitalists, or know, like, these, uh, uh, accelerators or these uh, angel investors, you're not so confident about it, or no, like you're not no, like looking for a no, like a major investment. All you want is no, like a little amount of money, uh, where you can start up the business in a very small scale. 
they know like you're ready to share the profit with those investors and know like if you want that kind of a thing and you have a good uh know like a, a circle of friends relatives who can know like who will believe you uh and they were ready to invest on you then you can go for crowdfunding so crowdfunding refers to the method through which the capital can be raised by the business through a large number of individuals beyond friends, family, relatives, and customers by posting the project details that the company is planning to start on the website of crowdfunding and other social media platforms. Now, this crowdfunding is not like happening almost in all the industry. Uh, take any industry for that matter, say, uh, Anything, anything, you no, know, like even in you no, know, like arts and media industry, you no, know, that is crowdfunding. So this is the best. Uh, I won't say this is the best way, but you no, know, like uh, you have to you no, know, like be very, um, uh, you no, know, just like the uh, when, with the uh, just like your business relationship with your uh, accelerators or with your uh, venture capitalist or with your angel investors, you have to show up the integrity and you have to be very genuine with you no know, when you're going for crowdfunding as well. Very genuine. You shouldn't know like hype up too much. You shouldn't know like uh, show you no know, showcase something you no know, which is unquantifiable. No, it shouldn't be like that. Sometimes you may require to share your profit with you no know, all these people who have invested in your business. So instead of you no know, like getting one angel investors, I'm asking few of my you no know, like. Uh, friends, my relatives, my cousins, or whoever, no, like almost 10 to 12 of them, no, to fund for my business. I have to know, like, uh, maybe uh, three or four of them will be, no, like, maybe expecting, no, like uh, something out from my business. They may be expecting some kind of profit out from the business. My close relative circle or friend circle may not be expecting, but others, no, yeah, they may be expecting. I should be open about it. I should be okay with it, right? So, it, it, it should be, you know, all these things should be, you know, like discussed and you know, all these things has to be, you know, like cleared at the beginning stage itself. So whether the profit will be shared or uh, when the company goes, these people will be, you know, like made as, you no know, equity holders or uh, how this works. So, you know, like clear communication has to happen. There are many crowdfunding platforms. Uh, uh, Facebook has their own crowdfunding programs. And Twitter, Kickstarter, GoFundMe, Crowdfunder, Indiegogo. So there are many crowdfunding platforms. For example, take Facebook. So to run the Facebook, you no, know, like usually, you no, know, like they they have a separate website, and uh, all the customers who use Facebook, you no, know, like they can you no, know, like donate something, you no, know, to to improve, you no, know, to to go on with more innovative, you no, know, like uh, uh, things in the Facebook. And uh, same as, you know, like, uh, same as, you know, like, applicable for Twitter. I mean, now it's X. And uh, Kickstarter. So Kickstarter, you no know, like, invites, uh, the, the business ideas will be posted there by different budding entrepreneurs. If you, know, like, go up, click on a particular, you know, like, investor, uh, sorry, in a particular entrepreneur, uh, see the business idea, and you feel that, you no know, like, okay, this business idea will work out, you can, you know, like, go funding for it. For it or the, for that particular in uh, particular in entrepreneur so th that is how no like it started go fund me and all no it works so these are the you no know, like various ways or you no know, like there are no like um uh what do you say uh doors or windows you no know, to attract uh, more investors you no know, into your business if you are you no know, like uh, having a struggling uh you're struggling up to you no know, like start your business at the beginning stage so it's always you no know, like instead of you no know, like relying on banks or instead of relying on other financial institutions, it's better to you know like go for uh, angel investors or venture capitalists, accelerators, you no know, like at least for crowdfunding. Crowdfunding, you may not be getting you no know, like any mentorship or any kind of industry expertise support, but yeah, that also works out. So it depends on you no know, like what is your business idea all about. What is the product all about? And know like uh, which uh, who are the target customers? What is your target market? And know like um, how much fund is required in the initial stage, and uh, how much you will be needing it after some time after you have started the business. So say after one or two years, how much you will be needing, and uh, then after no after that, if you are planning to expand your business, then how much you will be needing. So, yes, we have come to the end of the session.
Yeah, we have two minutes more. If you have uh, any doubts, you can uh, ask or otherwise we can meet in our next session next week. So I haven't shared the PPT as of now because uh, this is no like one single presentation. It's completely one single presentation. I thought, no, like let me complete the whole module and then no, I will share it. So after this class, I'll be sharing with the concern, uh, your class coordinator, session coordinator, okay? So if you have doubts, you can stay back and ask or no, like you can leave the session. Thank you, Mom. Uh, Sayed Hassan has something to share. So accelerator, we can say a person that causes something to happen more quickly. Yeah, I see. Accelerator is a general term. Uh, in business term, if you see, accelerator is no like a person or a program or any initiative which will no like make your dream come true uh, at the no like uh, at the earliest. So in that way, you can think. No accelerator is no like uh, no like it is actually a physics term, right? Um, accelerator is no like physics, which usually no like it's referred to no some uh, atoms or atomic particles if I remember. So this is a general term. Accelerator is something you no know, like which. Uh, Induces something you not know, to respond fast or to know like to work fast. 